Oh, I've used this Harbor Freight Daytona four ton jack on two projects. This is my third time I went to lift something with it and it'll raise it up to that height, but it won't take any weight. It just pumps, does nothing. I've turned the handle as tight as I can to make sure it's not leaking. I'll loosen it up, it'll go down. I'll tighten the handle back up. It'll go up to where it starts to get weight to it, but nothing. Doesn't look like it's leaked any oil out. So I don't know what's going on, but you know, I've only had it a month and this is seriously the third thing I went to lift with it. That's very, very frustrating. Ugh. That's not a good review. So here it is, tight as can be, pumping the jack handle and it's not going. But if I loosen it, oh, I can't even, I got it so tight I can't even loosen it with one hand. This is not working. Okay. So I'm not an expert, but I don't think that's supposed to move like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's making a banging noise. my first time climbing under here and just checking things out see what's going on there's a clunk in the drive line and obviously that's going to do it um definitely have a leaky wheel seal back here just on the one side <laughs> that's pretty nasty though that's even dripping on the tire Okay, so the front left brake, when I have her go ahead and step on the brake, it's kind of like a delay before it actually stops, and then release it now. I'm pulling on it, I'm pulling on it, I'm pulling on it, I'm pulling on it. <laughs> You're off the brake, right? Yep. I can't even move, there it goes. That's how long of a delay before it releases the pressure on it. So step on it, and release. So that would be the driver's side. Right. And then oh, the passenger side front. Step on the brake. Release. Every second she releases, I can spin it. Okay. I gotta say, taking the tire off of here, it was like it's a toy. Um, you know, I'm used to dealing with buses and fighting that, that thing was nothing i know a lot of you guys that work on cars but i think oh that's a big heavy wheel or what but oh my god super lightweight complete <laughs> felt like i ate my wheaties it was just uh, i don't i don't work on pickup trucks normally so that was just an unusual feeling for me just to fling it off to the side like nothing so i went ahead and ordered a new line here thinking maybe that might be plugged up i'm gonna go ahead and take this all apart uh, make sure everything's freely moving and cleaned up in there. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's probably that, that hose has probably got some gook in it. But uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. That's that's a symptom I had on my Volkswagen before where that would it wouldn't release the brake very well because there was the rubber was deteriorating inside of there. Um, usually you wouldn't see it both ways. It, it comes loose and works like a flapper in there that closes. But, uh, you know, who says it doesn't have two different little brakes in there where one goes one way and one goes the other way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll take this part and see what's going on. This one's super hard. I'm going to keep cleaning it up. And then lube it up with some grease. Easier now. 
This is just silicone coil. Just making sure I don't get it on the brakes. Way better than it was. The tiniest amount of pressure and it just goes right in. So that's good for that one. I'm gonna work on the other one now. The other ones at least came out with it. It wasn't stuck on there, but Moves like nothing. That's good. Okay. Okay, after cleaning the slides and getting everything moving in there, it's still doing the same thing. So it is the hose, which that's what I assumed. So I have the new one that I ordered from O'Reilly's. They had it in stock. I said I ordered it before I even messed with anything because I assumed that that's what the problem was going to be. But just wanted to eliminate that and it didn't hurt to do any maintenance and check things out in there too. So we'll get this put on here in just a couple minutes and then uh, hopefully have good front brakes again. I loosen them with a line wrench so I don't strip them out, but then once once they're broke loose, I use a regular wrench because it's too difficult to keep getting the line wrench on and off of stuff. So, but you don't want it when you're tightening and snugging down and loosening because they'll, they'll strip stuff out usually. So. Half-inch socket and a ratchet vise.
Well, the brake bleeder valve has been broken off on here and somebody's drilled it out and I can see that there was an extractor in it before. And that means if they put it back in like that, they need to be shot instead of replacing it. So I gotta try and get it out of here. We'll see how this goes. I'm not having a lot of faith. Okay, well I ended up breaking off the extractor down in there and then the part that was sticking out, I tried to use a chisel to get it to turn and then I just ended up shearing it off flush. I tried it a couple times, so gotta get a new uh, caliper, 40 bucks. Almost done. Okay, I flushed out and bled the entire system here. I even obviously did the other side too, especially because that tees off of that fitting in the other side, so there was some air introduced to the system, but uh, there's kind of some cruddy looking brake fluid that came out of there too. So I got it all cleaned out and good to go. Both sides are now working properly. Of course, it's starting to rain. Uh, took the truck for a test drive. The front brakes are great. Uh, it no longer pulls to one side. Uh, so that problem issue is fixed. That carrier bearing on the drive shaft I talked to Tyler about it. Um, he told me, just take it in. I'm gonna take it into a local transmission shop over here and let them replace it. He said there's very few things that he would rather, that he would prefer to just send the truck out and have somebody else mess with it. But the carrier bearing on that drive shaft is one of them. Uh, he said it's a pain in the butt. And I, even though I have the hydraulic press here, it's not set up yet or anything. Uh, I'll just take it in, let them do it. You know, a couple hundred bucks for the part, maybe a couple hundred bucks worth of labor. Uh, it's worth it than just fighting with it. So I'll have the local guys here do that, so I don't have to mess with it. He, he said he'd rather he'd, he'd rather have me put his fingers in the door and slam the door in his fingers than have to change those bearings out, that bearing out on the drive shaft. So um, I'll take his word that it really sucks. And uh, since I'm not completely set up here with everything, uh, and I've never done it before, and uh, I'll just let take it in and have somebody else do it. But uh, it's raining here again today. I'm uh, gonna tear into the to the back here and then. Uh, get that wheel seal fixed up and see what's going on with the rear end. We know there's some excessive play back there too, so we'll see what's going on. Fifteen sixteenths, seven eighths, inch and a sixteenth. <laughs> okay, three different sizes, all on there. Crazy.
probably going to have some improved braking after this repair. <laughs> wow. Nasty. That's not very good when your axle comes out all rusty like that. <laughs> all that stuff's going through the bearings and everything in that rear end. I started getting that cleaned up. Um, I gotta get a new, I don't have the right socket for that. So I'm gonna, I ordered a socket, it'll be in tomorrow. So I can finish taking that off right. And then uh, I'm gonna order new brake pads for back here, uh, brake shoes. They are, I think they're pretty worn. I don't know what they're supposed to look like new, but that's, you know, that's less than the thickness of the, well, plus they're oil saturated extremely, but you know, it's the thickness of the metal. That just seems too thin for me. I, I don't work on these little trucks, so I don't know. On a bus, that's ridiculous, but, um, I'm just going to replace them because they're oil soaked anyways. So replace that. Uh, I didn't want to take it apart until I had the new ones here because I, I'm not real familiar with the system. So there's a lot of springs and different things. I want to make sure I get them all back in the right spots. So but, uh, it's much cleaner now than what it was. I'll give it one more cleaning when the new shoes get here. <laughs> 